Luke's Way of Looking, written by Nadia Wheatley and Matt Otley's illustrations, imparts its message to celebrate individuality. It tells the story of Luke, who is considered an outcast for not conforming to the same way of thinking as his classmates and expectations of his teacher, Mr. Baraclough. This book explores the powerful effect of design features and choices to enhance the overall meaning. In particular, the design principle of contrast helps to highlight Luke's different way of thinking. Throughout the book, there is a clear contrast between the dark and bland colour palettes as opposed to the bright colours in Luke's paintings. The contrasting colours help to develop salience by drawing attention and emphasis to particular aspects on the page. In this instance, our gaze as the audience is immediately drawn to the colourful painting in the bland colour palette. We can see a transition in the colour and style at the beginning of the book starting with black sketches against a washed out background and the end of the book with vibrant surrealist imagery. This change resembles Luke's ownership over his way of thinking and sense of belonging when he discovers the mysterious building. At the end, Mr. Baraclough is painted in colour once he understands from Luke's perspective. Contrast coincides with scale and portion, focusing on the relationship between the large shadows and small children. This shows Mr. Baraclough overpowering them except Luke whose shadow is rising. Repetition is a language feature that is evident in this book. There is repetition of the phrase, Luke didn't know, so he said nothing. This emphasises Luke's self-doubt being constantly put down for thinking differently. This was then repeated at the end by Mr. Baraclough, this time finally appreciating Luke's individuality. Symbolism is directly evident and links Luke's spirit with the analogy of a bird. Wheatley leaves subtle hints throughout the book, such as in this frame of Luke's painting of a blue apple, there is a bird being frightened away in the background. When painting the clock tower, there is a bird sitting calmly on the roof, and finally, at the end, the coloured phoenix bird is flying freely. For this reason, the characters' strengths are contrasted against each other at different points of the story. These are just a few of the key figurative language devices and visual features that have been effectively utilised to convey the overall theme to celebrate individuality and messages throughout the book of Luke's way of looking.